Hello, my name's Naomi. I make paper cut artwork. I use my paper cuts also to make lamp shapes. I thought I would show you today how to go about making a paper cut. You might find it useful to see what we're aiming for here with our paper cut, so I'll show you a lamp shape that's already been made. Here. You can see there are two colours. The darker colour inside is actually a paper cut and it's sandwiched between a layer of fabric and special plastic backing um, to make your shade. This is what we're aiming for. I'm going to show you how to cut this kind of pattern inside. The most important thing for a really good paper cut is to use the right type of knife. Um, this is the knife that I use. You can see that. It's a surgical scalpel. It has a really sharp blade and that allows me to cut very fine intricate detail into the paper without the paper tearing. So the next thing you need is some paper and a cutting mat, which I'll get ready now. Um, and you can have a look. Okay, so here you can see I've got this really nice big green cutting mat that protects your work surfaces from getting very damaged. And paper. It's cut to the right size so it'll fit the shape of the lampshade. And the next step is fold it in half all the way along. And this means you get a symmetrical pattern. And then you can start cutting. Now, I don't use a pattern for any of this. I just cut wherever I feel like. I usually start at one end because it'll start down here. And you can have a little look. Um, I'll do you a close up in a minute. But you just start with, you've got to start somewhere. There we go, the first piece is cut out. I don't really have any design in mind. Um, I just let the previous cuts dictate where I'm going to go next. I find it works for me much better this way than trying to cut with a pattern. Pick each piece up, okay. Okay, I'm fold it a little bit. And see, we've got the start of the pattern. If it's against the wall, you might be able to see a bit better. Okay, I'm going to try and show you close up. I can't really see what this is recording, but hopefully, you'll get a clearer idea of how it works. You can see. Holding the paper carefully around where I'm cutting stops it tearing. And pick each piece out as you go along. You can cut large, large sections and then you fill in the gaps with smaller pieces. This is how it works quite often. It's not always that way. You just have to cut how you feel. I hope that it looks quite nice. You 
can also cut circles, which I know is something that people wonder how you get the circles neat. Well, the trick there is to keep moving your, keep moving around. You do part of your circle, move your hand, keep moving your hand around. And you can come back and start on the other side. Keep steady and slow and give a nice circle. Hopefully if I unfold this, you can feel it better. There we go. Okay, so I've been working away for 10 or 15 minutes now and I've got I've got to a point where I've got a bit stuck. So I thought I'd show you that it um how to get around a bit if you do get stuck like this. What I've done is I've started cutting this bit here, but when I've cut it, I haven't pressed hard enough on the knife. Either that or my scalpel blade needs changing. And so these bits haven't come out. Now, if I'm not careful, I'm going to tear all these other fine bits here. So then I have to go over each line very carefully to get it in exactly the same place and recut the bits that need cutting or without pulling on any of the bits that are already done. This is the fiddly bit. Because as you can imagine, if you get to this point and you get a bit that's stuck like this, and you can eat, you've done two hours work, one silly little not paying attention can ruin the whole thing. Done it. Okay, if I unfold this now, you can see section of work now looks like. You can see it's all lifting up um, when it comes to making the lampshade or framing it into putting it into a mount for a, a piece of artwork. Um, I actually have to iron my work. Um, so let's get on with a bit more cutting, see how much more we can get done. Okay, so I've done 20 minutes of cutting, time to stop for a rest, and this is what we've got so far. I don't know how well you can see that. You can have it against the wall. Get <laughs> a clearer idea. Oh, perhaps if we lie it down on the mat. There, 20 minutes worth of work. Not bad. Okay, well I hope that's given you a little insight into how I do my work. Um, maybe I'll do another video at some point to show you how to turn one of those paper cuts into a lampshade.